In Good Shape, your weekly dose of health information on DWTV. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio every week to offer their expert advice on In Good Shape. And to find out how to lower your risk for heart attack and what role cholesterol plays, we've invited an expert for cardiovascular diseases and lipids into the studio, Dr. Achim Weitzel. Thank you very much for joining us. Dr. Weitzel, what are the main risk factors for heart attacks? I think one of the principal risk factors is cholesterol. But there, of course, are other risk factors. One is age, sex, women are better off than men, genetics, of course, then hypertension, diabetes, and overweight, and not to forget smoking. Mm -hmm. So you say cholesterol is a major risk factor for heart attacks, too much cholesterol. How come there can be too much? The body produces it by itself. Why doesn't it regulate its production? Well, it's normally regulated, but there are some disturbances every now and then, sometimes genetic. And in most cases, it's not too much going into the system, but it's not enough going out of the system in the, in the stool or wherever so that you can get rid of it out of the body. Mm -hmm. So it accumulates, basically, and it that's the problem. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We fed a viewer writing to us, Colin Schweitzer from the Philippines, would like to know who should get their cholesterol levels checked and what should the doctors be looking for, really? I think everybody should their cholesterol levels checked. Have to. I think everybody should have their cholesterol levels checked, normally adults, but if there is heart disease in the family, even young children should have their cholesterol checked. And what you should look for is LDL cholesterol, HDL cholesterol, and maybe total cholesterol, which is not that important. Mm -hmm. So there's LDL and HDL, and simplified said LDL is the bad cholesterol. And then experts say that um, the target LDL level, what's still healthy, that varies from person to person. Can you explain what that means? Well, it's very simple. The target that you achieve is a target, the optimal target for the particular patient. And this is not in, uh, the same in every patient because patients have different risk factors and you have different risk factors, you have different targets. Because the more risk factors you have, the lower the target should be. If you have one risk factor, the target is a little bit higher. If you have four risk factors, the target is very low. So let's be concrete. You have a patient who's had a heart attack before, that's patient A, and you have a patient that's got no risk factors like being overweight, smoking or high blood pressure. How do their LDL target levels differ? Well, the target for the patient who has had a heart attack should be 100 milligrams per deciliter or 2.5 millimoles. And the target for a person who is normal, so to speak, should be 160 or 4 millimoles per liter. Mm -hmm. There is a, a discussion, a debate going on where some people say that the target's levels are too low or that medication is being prescribed too widely. What's your view on that? I don't think so. This is always an individual decision between the doctor and the patient and we got all the risk factors and the doctor has to check them and according to the risk factors he can determine the targets. So I think it's individual medicine which is very good. What kind of diet choices should you be making when your cholesterol levels are too high? I think there are two components. One is the cholesterol in the food, let's say the eggs. The other one is the fat and there are saturated and unsaturated fats. The eggs you cannot entirely forget, but they are not as important as we used to say. It's important is the amount of saturated fat that you consume. And saturated fat is fat from animal origin, which is meat and meat products, milk and milk products, butter and cheese. These fats raise LDL cholesterol, so you should restrict them. Mm -hmm. So you should lay off these fats pretty much? As much as you can. Mm -hmm. How much can you achieve by changing your diet and exercising regularly? Well, this is almost a disappointment for many patients because it's not as much as you think, as much as you wish. You can lower your LDL cholesterol by means of uh, lifestyle changes by about 10 or 15 percent. Mm -hmm. well, this is not too start. much, but mm -hmm. it's a good start. Mm -hmm. yeah. In which cases is medication really <clears throat> necessary? If a patient has had a heart attack, he should take medication to lower cholesterol. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about it. And the target level there is 100 milligram per deciliter, sometimes 70 
milligram per deciliter. Mm -hmm. And in those cases, statins, that's a form of drugs, they're prescribed for lowering, lowering your uh, cholesterol levels. There's a lot being written about side effects. What can you tell us about that? Well, all medications that have main effects have side effects. That's true for statins as well. But it's not very often. It's less than 10%, which is less than the side effects that you have when you take aspirin. And the second part, which is very important, is if you discontinue the drug, all the side effects disappear. Mm -hmm. So you say discontinue the drug. How long do you have to take the statins for? If there's an indication for statins, if you have high risk, you should take them forever because the process in your arteries goes on forever and you have to work on it every day. Mm -hmm. But it probably should be a combination of medication and lifestyle or how do you see it as a doctor? What do you recommend to your patients? I think lifestyle is the basis. It's very easy to take drugs, but I think lifestyle is the basis because the person has to think about it, that he has to change his lifestyle, that he has to watch his way, that he doesn't smoke. I think this is very important. Just the dropping a pill is not uh, the solution. Not a solution. Um, th people might wish that there are other ways beyond uh, taking medication and lifestyle to lower their cholesterol levels. What about um, foods? There are foods out there on the market that claim to lower your cholesterol. What, what's the scientific view on that? Well, that's still debated in the scientific community. There are foods that lower cholesterol in the area of 10 to 15 percent, but we still don't know if they work in the long run beneficial for your heart and we still don't know if there are any harm. So this is undecided in science right mm -hmm. now. So for now it's uh, watch your LDL cholesterol, if your doctor recommends it, take the statins and watch your lifestyle, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right then, well thank you very much for being our guest today. Thanks for your time. Thank you.